So today I'm going to be showing you just a quick setup guide for using both the loop and cut uh, pile tufting machines. The first and one of the most important steps is to have a really good system for feeding your yarn consistently. These are the ones that we sell on cones and they're really uh, the best if you have them set up. It's also nice to have a pair of scissors or clip handy. The first step to threading this machine is to go through the loop part here. The second you're going to need a bent paper clip or something similar, a bent piece of wire, and you're going to feed it through and then it goes just like that. You can fit a little bit more in there, more threads. And you can also pull back to save your yarn. When you're doing that, it's nice to have the machine off so it doesn't accidentally turn on. Next, turn the gun on. And the important thing about these is that you can only move in the direction of the curve of the foot. So in this case, I would be going moving up. If I want to go to the side, I have to rotate the machine fully to the side. If I want to come back, I have to rotate the machine back this way when anytime you're tufting you want a consistent amount of pressure for every stitch if you don't have a consistent amount of pressure the the machine will push back and then the yarn won't be pushed in so you can see when I do this I have a consistent amount of pressure at the end of the cut pile this is this should actually be cut so to start a new row, it's nice to just grab the little thread there. Depending on how many uh, threads you have in here is going to determine how uh, close these rows are. Okay. okay, so now we're going to switch to the loop tufting machine. So same kind of situation. We need a consistent, consistently feeding thing of yarn. It's good to have a pair of scissors handy. Okay, so the loop is it's the same. You start feeding through here. Then you're going to need a bent paper clip to go in through the front of the needle like this and then just hook the yarn to that just like that basically you can put as much that will go through there you can put thicker yarns or more more threads as long as it'll fit through and it's like can you know kind of loosely run through so this one is the same as the cut pile same amount of pressure <clears throat> the only difference is uh, it's not going to cut it at the end. So at the end of the row, this is where having the clips comes in handy. You can either cut here to start a new row. The second option with this one is to fill in your design by going back and forth One thing I should mention about both of the tufting guns is technically you can adjust the pile height by adjusting this bar here. There's instructions on that. There's a whole video about that. But I would encourage you to use the current factory setting that you get until you get the feel of how everything works. Because if you don't put this, if you don't adjust this bar correctly, then your the mechanical parts of your machine won't work properly.